All right, everyone, here is a tutorial on how to do some logo tracing, uh, especially putting into Onshape, which used to be a pretty uh, painful process of, you know, bringing an image in and then tracing it. Uh, kind of found a relatively quick and uh, effective workaround. So here's kind of the, the guide for that. Okay, so the key for this is using SVG files. So uh, best case scenario is if you just search for something. So in this case, I just went to Google Images. I searched Michigan logo SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. These are wonderful because what the idea here is that they hold their shape. They have kind of points uh, that you can trace around. So they're... Um, great. It's usually used for, like for me, at least you use it for laser cutting, but in this case, we're going to bring it in for 3D printing purposes or 3D modeling, I should say. Okay, so if you can find the SVG file, that's the best way to go. So search for that. In this case, I found this one through Wikimedia. So I found that here and it says right here, original file SVG. I'll right click on that, save link as. And when I do that, you'll see here, it says scalable vector graphics as your type. So that's good. I'll save that as .svg. Ray did that just a second ago, but I'll save it again. All right, so here's kind of the, the quick way to do that. So next up, I'm going to go into some sort of vector software, or really some sort of um, graphic design software. In this case, um, I'm using Inkscape. It is free to download. Also, again, we have it on our school computers, so that is a great option as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just import it. So if you've come over here, file import, or if you like shortcuts, control I. All right. So here I've got my file I just saved, .svg. I hit open. Okay. At this point, if you wanted to, you can kind of size it up to whatever you want it to be. Let's say I'm changing that to inches. And then uh, let's just say, just for here, make that five inches wide, right? And again, notice that it's scaled everything really, really nicely. And the nice part also, if I double click on this now, double click on this part, it should be a vector, right? So meaning, I don't know if you can see that from here, but if I click on any of these points, they should show up as points. If you're seeing that necessarily well either way it's being saved as an svg file so it's good all right so next up i'm going to come over here to file and go to save as okay to bring it into on shape what we need this to be is a dot dxf so you see here desktop cutting plotter autocad dxf r14 dot dxf hit save it'll pop up with this screen and we're going to change it to base unit is I think I have that is in millimeters now. So millimeters instead, uh, character encoding UTF-8, and the rest of that should be good. Hit OK. And it should ask you to save it, or wherever you saved it to. I think I just saved it to my downloads folder now. Let me double check that. Where was I just now? Uh, under, sorry, under laser cutter is where I put it. So. Uh, I'm going to have to find that. So let me, sorry, do that one more time. I'm just going to bring it here to my desktop. So I'm going to keep it in my downloads folder. Okay, that way I can find it a little bit easier. So this is Michigan logo, and I'm going to do that DXF again, DXF. Okay, hit save. The rest of that settings are fine. Okay, hit OK. So now I'm going to come back over to on shape. And this start a new sketch. Let's put it on the front sketch. And now this option shows up. Insert DXF or DWG. Click on that. Right now there's none available. Bring this back to millimeters. Import. And oh, it saved it here actually, but if I had it in my downloads folder as well. So hit open and in theory now, I should have a DXF file, all right? So as you can see here, um, maybe I did not click on that properly, but only some parts of it popped in. Technically, if, it was the, if I did that SVG file properly, I should get that entire thing, right? So what I can do is come back over here, and let's say I have this, if it wasn't a DXF file, so... Let's just go ahead and start a new one. 
and maybe for this example, I know that one was not was not great, but let's say here I have an image, but it's not a .svg. So what I can still do is I'm going to just copy this Northville logo. I'm not sure how this one's going to come out. Still might not be perfect, but again, it'll save us some time is the goal. So I bring in my Northville logo here. Right now, it is not a vector file. So what I need to do is click on that over here. I'm going to go trace bitmap. Okay, and the way trace bitmap works, it's going to try to find the edges. Uh, so some of them, it works really well with brightness cutoff, especially if you just have it as like a black and white image. For this one, since I got multiple colors, I'm actually going to try to use the color one. I like to choose live preview. And since there's really, really what, four, co three colors? Let's see if we can get away with three colors. Uh, I might like this. Actually, there's some grays in here too. So I'll do five scans, hit OK. Okay, and this portion is where, you know, you might need to tidy it up a little bit, but you get the basic idea. Like I've got, in this case, the horse is kind of traced out for me now. Or maybe the letter N with the horse. Okay, so there's a few, few options. I'll pull that off, let's say, I am liking, this black one didn't come out very well. Let's say, I don't know, as a rough one, this one came out pretty well, so I'm gonna keep that around. All right, again, I'm gonna go File, Save As, and we want this as a .dxf now, .dxf. I'll keep it in my Downloads folder, and let's call this one NHS Logo. Hit Save. Okay, all those settings, still good. Hit OK. Should save it. Come back over here to Onshape. Again, this is my logo practice. And let's go ahead and scrap this Michigan one that came out not super well. Uh, insert DXF. Import. And now I was back in my downloads folder. Here, let's go to downloads, and here's that NHS logo .dxf that I was just playing around with. Hit open, pops up here. Click on that, and there we go. It's got a nice traced image of what I just was working with. So now, if I wanted to, you know, I can do all the good stuff like do an extrusion of, let's say, the horse or the Mustang. Oops. All right, but you, I think you get the idea here. So you still may need to do a little bit of approach processing, uh, like tidy up certain points uh, and whatnot. But for the most part, it will help you do some quick image tracing. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. As per usual, if you need help, let me know. Uh, for some reason, I had a box here. Maybe this will be a better demo. Real quick, let me just do this since this may prove my point a little bit better. Right, so I'll come over here to extrude, and now faces, I can choose this 